This is the Magnavox MMA3998. There is a lot to like about this speaker, but not the name. I don't know what kind of plastic Magnavox used for this speaker, but it is smooth and soft, and if you're a tactile person like me, you'll want to caress it. I'm sure you have already noticed the brilliant RGB lighting display. There are several effects to choose from. They are bright and they basically occupy the entire front of the speaker. I love it. Check out these controls. At first glance, they look like standard Bluetooth speaker controls, but they are mechanical switches like a keyboard. Up front, we have dual two inch full range drivers. They're three watts each for a total of six watts. It doesn't sound like a lot, but for personal use, that's fine. I think the back is vented just to allow the speakers to push more air. On the bottom, we have two rubber feet just to absorb some of the vibrations and keep it from bouncing across the desk. On the back of the speaker, we have a USB-C charging port. Next to that is a small hole for a reset switch. In order to activate that, you use like a SIM extractor or some other small object. Next to that is a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input. And then we have a USB-A memory slot, a manual power switch, and then a TF card slot. Now you put music on the TF card, the memory stick, or you can feed it with the three and a half millimeter auxiliary input. But one feature that's kind of hidden is an FM radio. There is no antenna for, at least not on the outside, and of course, Bluetooth input. There is only so much you can do with a two inch speaker, but Magnavox has engineered this very well. In Bluetooth mode, you can listen to this at about 80% volume with no distortion in bass, mids, or high frequencies. I can't say the same thing in auxiliary input mode or radio mode, but TF card and memory card also handle the volume quite well. I think the problem is the three and a half millimeter auxiliary input and the radio have a less controlled environment. There's only so much Magnavox can do to control what you're pumping into the speaker. But uh, again, it's going to sound good. You just have to be careful not to blow out the speaker in those modes. Between the satiny finish, the beautiful RGB lighting effects, the clicky keys, the sliding power switch, this speaker does things very different and very well. But my biggest concern with the MMA3998 is the battery. It takes three hours to charge this thing and you're only going to get about four hours of playback at best. So you think, well, that's okay. I can just listen to it at my desk and leave it plugged in. But no, no, no. <laughs> you can only leave this in for 24 hours max before it'll start to damage the battery. At least that's what the manual says. So it's like, make up your mind. Either give me a better battery or give me a decent voltage regulator on the charger. But don't punish me in both directions. It goes without saying that this speaker is not waterproof and it doesn't claim to be, so I'm not going to hold that against it. In fact, I would give this speaker a five out of five in its class because it does so many things very well, but that battery is a, it's unforgivable. Given that battery, I'm going to give the Magnavox MMA3998 a three out of five stars. Thanks for stopping by.